I'm making a really nice curry. It's kind of special because it's going to be using spices from the Spice Island, known as Zanzibar, Tanzania. And I can't wait, it's gonna be an amazing adventure. So I'm just grinding up some lemongrass here and some ginger and some garlic. And I have it into a paste, which it is now. And what I wanna do is add it right away to my pan. So let me try and scrape it off from my little pot saucer here that I have. So I'm gonna add that in and get it going. It's really, really hot, but I wanna bring out the flavors of the ginger and the lemongrass and the garlic and get that going. You can see it's really starting to smoke. Now I'm gonna add some coconut milk. And there we go. Really, really hot. The coconut milk, of course, is gonna cool everything down. So I'm super excited to go to Zanzibar. It's the Spice Island. And if you know me, you know my style, I'm all about spice. So I have some classic spices that I've read. I don't really know because I haven't been there yet. All I can tell you is what I've read. Pepper is supposed to be number one there. So there's lots of fresh pepper that grows. I can't wait to see it. Hopefully I can find some. I'm gonna get a good bit of pepper down into this. And cinnamon, they're also famous for cinnamon. So I'm sure we'll find some cinnamon bark along the way and the spice markets. Like I'm so excited to go to Zanzibar. And some coriander. Coriander is also very popular over there. And I mean, I can only imagine what the food is gonna taste like with all that spice. I'm just like, I believe if you don't cook with spice, it's almost like dancing without music. I mean, how can you eat anything without spice? I live by that philosophy. Some curry powder. So this is gonna be a nice curry sauce with the coconut milk. Everything's gonna go down really nice. A little pinch of salt. There we go. And another thing that's gonna just brighten it all up, my curry sauce, is a nice squeeze of lime juice, fresh limes. And I would imagine that limes grow there as well. I mean, I'm just so super excited. A nice curry sauce. I'm gonna let this go for a couple of minutes so that all the spices blend really well into that coconut milk. And I'm gonna get packing because when that plane takes off for Zanzibar, I'm gonna be on it. going a little off the beaten track to the east coast of Zanzibar, where there is a unique restaurant called The Rock. As the name implies, The Rock is situated in the ocean. I cannot wait. I've contacted the owner and teamed up with a talented local chef who's going to cook some local fish exactly as he prepares it each day at the restaurant. My abaya is pulled up and I better hurry up because when the tide comes in, I could get stranded. Chef Joseph, thank you for having me here today at the Rock Zanzibar. I mean, oh. look at the beautiful background. You have the ocean and the warm breeze. Yes. Thank you so oh, much, thank Chef. thank you. You're welcome, the Rock. <laughs> okay, thank so um, tell me, what kind of fish are we preparing today? It's blue marlin. Blue marlin. Yes. 
I see this, the spices. Yeah. Garlic, salt, uh, lime, yeah. and pepper. The first one, yeah. you put olive oil. Okay. Okay. Take salt, yes. little. Take, <laughs> Take the garlic. Yes. I want to try this at home, so I'm really excited uh, that yes. you're helping me yes. learn how to make this Black pepper. Yeah. And lime. Okay. And I can see that your pan is already on, so you want the pan to be nice and hot, correct? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. Are you going to put any oil into the pan or just straight into the pan no, like that? No, I put the oil in okay. the pan. Okay. Yeah. You're the boss. Yes. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Fantastic fish. And it's I think now the malnation for fish is she okay. Okay, so yes. you don't need to let it marinate for too long. And let's go. Let's get on yes. with it. My belly is telling me that I want some blue merlin here today. Yeah. <laughs> At the rock I Zanzibar. I think now the pan is okay. Okay, perfect. Yes. I take the fish. Yeah. Then I put. Oh yeah, it's hot. Yeah. Here, let me then take I that for you, chef. Oh, I'll thanks. get it out of your thanks, way. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay. I have a question for you yes. while you're making this. Do you mind, chef, if I make a raita? It's just a quick sauce. I'd like to accompany your yes. beautiful fish here today. Yeah, no problem. Thank you so much. Karibsana. Ah, kar Asana. Kari, say that again. Karibsana. And what does that mean? It's welcome. Welcome. Yes. Okay, well, great. <laughs> so yes. I actually have my mise en place ready. So yes. if you don't mind, I'll prepare that while the fish is going. I think it's good. Thank you so good much, Chef. Okay. Yeah, you're welcome. All right. I'm right in the center of Stonetown, Zanzibar. It's crazy. People are everywhere. There's a constant buzz in the air. The sound and the smells assault your senses. I'm looking for the spice market, but there is far more than spices. There are vegetables and produce and people. I can't get over the throngs of people. I've been told that this goes on every single day. It's not just a weekend thing. I cannot wait to get in and see what I can find. I'm sure I'll be leaving here with more than one spice. So I'm here with Ali, who is a local guide, and he's yeah. going to show me the beautiful spices in Zanzibar Spice Market. Yeah. And so who's your friend, Ali? Uh, my friend here, his name is Yuma, we can call him James. Okay, he's James. a shopkeeper, yeah, so he knows much better also about the spice of Zanzibar as well. Thank you, James. Nice to meet you. And you too. Okay, okay. so uh, for tomorrow, mm -hmm. the only thing I need, although all your spices are so beautiful, mm -hmm. I would really like to get the cinnamon, no. cinnamon. and I would like to get the chili. And for now, that will be it. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very good. <laughs> Mr. Cheaper <laughs> Price. He's going to have a better, yeah. better, 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 better price. Thank you, Ali. You, know, you take cheaper. care of me. Okay. <laughs> Zanzibar, Tanzania used to be part of Oman, and as such, it was ruled by the Sultan of Oman at the time. The Sultan ultimately moved the capital of his empire to Stone Town because of the wealth generated by this island. It had the infamous distinction of being the slave capital of East Africa. In the 1800s, 40 to 50,000 slaves were transported through Zanzibar annually. It wasn't until 1970 that slavery was ended in Oman. Now, uh, yeah. you come over here because you have to tell me what to yeah, eat yeah, yeah, you see, before, yes, so. tell you there. Yeah. You know, we're in the Spice Island, so this is actually the mix with the cumin. Yeah. All right? They yeah. mix the cumin, they put in some little bit of turmeric to, to change the color okay. into be this color. Yeah, I can see. And they put a little bit of garlic, you can see that's on here. Yeah? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And they put a little bit of chili, but not much chili, not too okay. hot. Okay. So it's going to be wonderful. You're I like eat hot, that one. but that's yeah. okay. Like hot, but it's okay. No, it's not too hot. Everyone can, uh, can eat it. Okay. Yeah. And this one is a beef. And the second one is a beef. Okay. And beef, again, yeah. it's a marinade or something like it's that? It's a marinated, a marinated little bit. Yeah, okay. and also they got a cumin and also garlic and a little bit of lime in there just to make it a little bit tasted. Okay. Yeah. And so this, this is a, like a typical market every day. This is every day. Wow. Every Every single day. Wow. It doesn't have a weekend or wow. So from uh, 5 o'clock to... And it's always busy. To, and it's yes, always, always busy. busy. Okay, so let's go. Maisha Mare for long life is our cheers. Okay, long life. Long life. Cheers. Yeah, great. Yeah.
Okay, so I have some nice plain yogurt. Yes. And then I'm going to add some spices. There's a little bit of wind, so you can see I have them covered up. Yes. So we have some nice cumin. And cumin's very strong, yes. but I'm only going to add a little bit, so don't worry. Uh, Just thanks. a little bit of the cumin. Yep. And I toasted these spices earlier. Yes. Because you want to bring out their flavors. Oh. And we are in the spice islands, right? Now I see the good can, smell. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Good smell. Okay. Yes. And black pepper, of course, yes. which already also grows on your beautiful islands. Yes. Just a little bit of the black pepper as okay. well. Boom. And nice. This is very easy, right? And it's a great accompaniment. Yep. And then some cayenne pepper. Let me get yes. that in as well. Yes. Just a little pinch. Let's see here. Yes. And I have some coriander. And again, I s toasted this this morning, so I want to get a nice smell on it. Do you smell that? Oh, oh yeah. nice. <laughs> oh. I hope that nice, it's good enough nice, for your nice, palate, nice, chef. Nice, nice. And of course, I'm going to add a little bit of lemon juice. Oh, you can? And you know that brings out the acid as well. Oh, yes. There, just a little bit to thin it out. Yes. Can I borrow some of your salt, chef? Yes, no problem. Thank you. You take it. Thank you. Just Thanks. a pinch. Oh. And I'm going to add nice. some cucumber that I have over here as well. Yes. Just grab that. And I have What's some... What's this? This is cucumber. Oh, cucumber. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh. And I noticed that you have some nice coriander leaves chopped oh, yes. up. Yes. Can I borrow a little bit of that, Chef Joseph? May mm. I use a little bit? Yes. Thank you so much. Caribou, right? Uh, caribou. Caribou. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> I remember that because we have an animal named a caribou. A uh, caribou. Caribou. Okay, yep. and then we just mix it up. Yes. How's your fish going? Oh. Now the fish is okay. Okay, it's, it's good. Fantastic. To, ah, it's good the to go. Car, uh, it's good. Okay. Yes. So you let I me think know. I take out. Yeah, yeah. You're the boss. Yes. No problem. Now I just need to give this a quick taste, okay? Yes. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, really, really tasty. Yeah. I hope that you like it. Let's get this plated up and we'll enjoy the beautiful fish oh. that you made. Yes. I came to Zanzibar looking for the secrets of the island that is known around the world as the Spice Island. I'm heading to a traditional Zanzibar spice farm to meet the owner, Ali. I've heard that he's a colorful character who once hosted Prince Charles himself. I was warned not to eat his nutmeg porridge should he offer it to me. I'm curious why, but I'm sure that I'll be in good hands. Okay, Mr. Ali, so we're at lemongrass. Yeah, this is the lemongrass. And uh, when we plant this, we just use a tiller. A tiller which uh, after planting, it takes about three months to be ready for fast harvesting. Okay. Yeah, so when we, when we harvest, we usually use the knife yeah. and cut. Just we cut like this. Okay. Yeah. Do you we use cut. the leaves also? Yes, the leaves. For the lemongrass, it's only the leaves. Really? Yeah. Ah, uh -huh, okay. Uh, we gotta maybe get a different kind. Uh, we usually use the stock. But is that a different, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, different, yeah. different so kind of lemongrass? For here, the, according to Zanzibaris, majority of Zanzibaris, they use the leaves. But it makes sense because uh, it's supposed to be as, grass, right? As I have told you before that uh, Zanzibar is one among the very cosmopolitan country. Right. So uh, majority of Zanzibaris who are black like myself, eh, they use only leaves. But Zanzibaris who are originated from China, from Taiwan, they are the one who mostly use, use the, the, root, the, the the stem. This the stem, yeah. yeah, this stem nearly the roots here. And uh, according to the Zanzibar culture, usually Zanzibaris when they take lemongrass, they do something like this. Huh? Okay. Like this. Huh? Then they provide you like this. So it's then when you reach like at home, curry. you unroll, you wash, then use in uh, in uh, tea. Okay, so if you want to show me to the nutmeg we're going to look at yeah, next? Yeah, also, yeah, we can see it, you can see it, no problem. After you, sir. Okay, <laughs> so let's go to the nutmeg. So, Mr. Ali, now we're here at your beautiful nutmeg tree. Yeah, yeah. 
I love nutmeg. I use it a lot, but I don't know much about it. So yeah. I really want you to explain a little bit. Okay. Uh, nutmeg has been brought here in Zanzibar in the year 1818 okay. by the Sultan of that time. The and the Sultan of that time brought uh, three plant species here in Zanzibar together. First of all, uh, cloves, nutmeg and allspice. Okay. From planting, eh? when we plant, we just use the seed inside, right. like the one which you see here. Yes. Eh? This one. So that's the seed inside the plant. Yeah. May I see the, the seed? So this, then do you dry it as further? Or like, what is the process? Yeah, after it this? is dried. Okay. So our customer here, sometimes they say they need nutmeg with mess. Yeah. And some of them, they say they just need it. Yeah. yeah. Just the seed. Yeah. Let me tell you about uh, Zanzibar culture okay. on this. Uh, during the wedding ceremony eh, here in Zanzibar, there are women who uh, pretend to feel shy. They don't want to dance uh, in, the, in that wedding ceremony. So there are few who are very active, active women. They are preparing a special uh, nutmeg light porridge, mm -hmm. which they provide to those ladies who are feeling shy, come with the uh, <laughs> hiding clothes, something like that. <laughs> this porridge has Afro, Afrodiasic behavior, they cause the Afrodiasic behavior to them. So <laughs> after drinking, that drinking, as I have said before, they could dance more. And when you touch them like this, yeah. they become hot and their <laughs> eyes become sleeping eyes. So good for satisfying, satisfying somebody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. We say it's your husband. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm going to take a pile of these home. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it would be nice. Thank you for the tour <laughs> Thank of you. a couple of spices Thank and around so all of your beautiful spice yeah. heritage farms. Chef Joseph, I'm overwhelmed with this fish, this beautiful recipe that you made for me. And now I guess to actually taste it. Mm. Would you mind serving it while I pour a glass of wine? Oh, yes. Okay. So, there's also a special label rock oh, wine yeah. that you have here. So it's from Spear and it's your own wine. This is wonderful. I can't wait to taste this as well. Thanks. I'm overwhelmed with the beauty of Zanzibar and the spice and the beautiful fish that you're serving here yes. out at the rock. It's amazing. Oh, Let's thanks. try. Thanks. Try my sauce too. Don't forget any of that. Oh wow. It's so tender and flaky. Oh. I can taste the ginger, Man, I can it. taste the pepper, everything. Beautifully marinated. And this sauce is very fantastic. Do you like it? Yes. You're yes. not lying. You're being honest, right? Thank you so oh, much. Fantastic. This was a wonderful, wonderful afternoon. Thank you for showing me. Oh, thanks. I'm at Ocean Beach Restaurant and Sandbar. It looks very inviting. The water and view is spectacular. It's going to be a great evening, and I've had the good fortune to meet another local talented chef who's going to show me how he prepares plantains on the grill. So we're here at Ocean Restaurant and Sands Bar in Zanzibar with the amazing chef Otman who's going to show me how to cook my final dish today. So thank you for having me chef at Ocean You're Restaurant welcome. and Sandbar. You're most welcome. So this looks like a banana to me but I know it's a plantain. Yes please. But I don't know how to cook it so I really want some help with this because this, I'm stuck with this all the time and the rest all right. of it. Okay. Cool. So I can show you. Yes we, please. We start to peel off the skin. Okay. And this would be ripe. Yeah. Okay, it's not gone bad, it's brown, yeah, yeah. Like, a, like a banana. When it gets that color, it's ripe. All uh, right. Okay. So you peel off the skin, first of all. Uh-huh. Yeah. It comes off just like any type of ripe banana. So. Yeah. Okay, I got that much. That's how it is. <laughs> then you cut in the middle. Yeah, yeah. You take off the center one. This one, we don't use it normally. Is it bitter or just... Typically. Yeah, normally we don't use it, okay. so you take it off the center. And there's also so some seeds coming. in there too? Yeah, it's okay. some of them you can find it's have the seeds inside. Okay. Yeah. So is plantain something that you cook with a lot in Zanzibar? Yeah, normally we use it for, like especially for the Ramadan, we call of on fasting, you know, this is Islamic country, we right, use right. it. Sometimes we use for, we cook with the coconut yes yeah 
And so it's got a lot of starch into it. It's something that will keep you full for when you're fasting. Is that typically or <laughs> maybe I got it wrong? Something like that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let me help you clean up. Okay. I have some spices here that I brought from the beautiful spice farm, okay. from the spice market. I was at a heritage farm today. Oh, right. um, so I have some cinnamon and cayenne pepper. Do you think it's difficult to incorporate that into the planting? Yeah, it's going to work. It can work? Yeah. Okay, I like your style. <laughs> So right. let me help you with the cayenne, since All you right. said yes, I'll just put some in here. Okay. And I have the bark of the cinnamon, but obviously we'll use the powdered form, right? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> you don't want to eat this stuff. Yeah. Okay. So we put a little bit of cayenne pepper, we spread on top here. And this one is cinnamon powder. Okay. Some people, they use it like a dessert. Oh yeah, it would be great grilled with probably ice cream or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> There you go. All right, so you do it like that. Okay. So we can spread a little bit of olive oil on top. Perfect. Yep. And we're done with the spices okay. here. Okay. I can't wait to try this. Grilled <laughs> banana, grilled plantain. Yeah. yeah. So how long will this go on the grill for? Uh, almost five to seven minutes should be ready. Okay. Yeah. Five to seven minutes. Well, yeah. I heard that it was happy hour somewhere. <laughs> we even here we do that. And so what's the drink of the day? Ah, uh, we have passion driver. Passion driver, I like that. So You're maybe welcome. while this is grilling, After. we'll head over there. Why not? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> let's get it onto the grill. Right. So we're back now, and I can see that the plantains are ready. Yeah. Are they ready, Chef? Yeah, it's ready Okay, now. well, you're the boss. <laughs> so we start to... I just want to say thank you again so mm -hmm. much. To Ocean Restaurant and Zanzibar and to Zanzibar. We hope to see you again. I hope so, for <laughs> sure. So now I know how to cook the plantain. Yeah. And uh, yeah, absolutely. I don't think I can take the plantains back home with me, but I can take your recipe. Yeah. <laughs> Thank no you problem. very much. You're welcome. Nigel, wow, this is such a beautiful restaurant. I have to say it's a first to be sitting in a restaurant located on top of a rock. Thank you very much for coming, first of all. <laughs> oh, my pleasure. For sure it's been a, a big challenge, but it's a fantastic challenge because to be in such a beautiful place and to be able to build a, a small little restaurant on a rock, yeah. it's incredible. It's quite unique. <laughs> quite unique. So cheers. Cheers to The and Rock, and thank you for having me, thank, The Rock Zanzibar. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure to have you here. It's been my pleasure. And uh, in Swahili, you say, Karibu Tena, that means welcome back. Okay. And I have a small little gift for you. Really? Okay, <laughs> this so. Is gift enough. <laughs> here we are. Ah, Sorry. How nice. Got, Hi, this thank is Baker. You. And inside our bag of the rock, I've got <gasps> one bottle of red. Wow. For you and a bottle of wine. I think you've been watching oh, the, the French Noofy. You know, <laughs> maybe tonight I'll put on some Freddie Mercury. And so maybe uh, you can go shopping wine. like that, okay, <laughs> with some wine inside. This is the best shopping. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. I'm nearing the end of my trip in Zanzibar, Tanzania. It was absolutely fabulous. The people were great. The spice was great. The food that the chefs prepared was great. I really hope to visit here again. They say that the spice of life is variety, but I think that the variety of life is spice. <laughs>